Hi, I'm Josh Elliott, and today I will be reviewing The Little Hours. The Little Hours is based off of the Decameron, and I don't know anything about the Decameron. Like, I just knew that this was a raunchy nun movie starring Aubrey Plaza and Alison Brie and Molly Shannon, John C. Riley, Fred Armisen, Dave Franco, and that other actress, I can't remember her name, I'm gonna look it up, Kate Micucci. So it's about like a bunch of nuns in a convent, they're just like doing their thing, and then Dave Franco shows up. All the nuns get like super hot for Dave Franco, I mean like I would too. Dave Franco is running away from this guy because he slept with the guy's wife, so obviously the guy's pretty mad, and he's pretending to be a deaf mute at this place, but then all the nuns go crazy for him. This movie's alright, I wanted to like it a lot more than I did. I still found that there was quite a bit to be enjoyed with it. I didn't dislike this movie, but there was nothing very memorable about it for me. First off, Aubrey Plaza is not the main character of this movie. Like, it was produced by her, and she was heavily advertised in the marketing for this movie. So I thought she was gonna be the lead. She really wasn't. It's pretty much Dave Franco is the lead, and Alison Brie is like a close second. But Aubrey Plaza, she's pretty much just a minor character in this movie. Why this movie isn't very good is that I never felt like it got as crazy as it should have. It does go to some pretty weird places, but but I wanted it to keep going further. The craziest that this movie gets is a bunch of nuns at a witchcraft circle trying to sacrifice Dave Franco. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. It's honestly kind of understated in the movie, though. Although I did kind of appreciate that, that all of the crazy things that happened in this movie are very bland in terms of their portrayal on screen. This is not your typical raunchy comedy movie. It's very understated, every funny thing that happens in it. Which I think works for this style of the movie, but I just wanted more crazy. Does that make sense? Kate Minucci's character, she goes totally crazy. She's probably the best thing about the movie. Her and Dave Franco absolutely steal the show. Kate Minucci, she just goes totally crazy in the final act of this movie, and I loved it. And I wanted to see more of that. I wanted the movie to be more like that. And also, I don't know what the message of this movie is. Most raunchy comedies do have a subtext of an actual message to them. Like, both of the Neighbors movies have messages to them, and I think that's one of the reasons why both of those movies are so good. The Little Hours either lacks that meaningful message, or it does not have it come across. It has this raunchy style, but it's set to the background of a convent, and so you'd expect there to be some kind of, like, religious commentary there, but there really isn't, at least none that I got. I felt like the movie wasn't really trying to say anything. Okay, but what are some good things, though? A lot of the other actors are good as well, like John C. Riley, he's great. Fred Armisen, he isn't in the movie very much, but when he is, he is fantastic. Aubrey Plaza is good, but she's just kind of being Aubrey Plaza. There's nothing like original to her character. She just acts crazy and then that's the character. There are some weird things that happen with Aubrey Plaza's character in the final act of this movie. We learn a lot about her, but I didn't really care and they never go into detail about why she is this way. Like so many of the plot threads go unresolved in this movie. Kate Minucci's character starts learning a lot about herself. Alison Brie starts doing things that she would never do. In terms of a character perspective, none of them are really resolved. We never get to see how these crazy acts have affected them afterward. It really only becomes all about Dave Franco after the end of this. That's the weird thing about this movie. The movie is all about nuns, but the nuns are probably the least interesting part about it. Dave Franco is who I was interested in. I was interested- oh yeah, Nick Offerman, he's also really good in this movie. He plays the guy that's going after Dave Franco. Sorry, I just wanted to say that. He's really good. But yeah, it took me a while before I could really get invested into the nuns. It wasn't until the scene where they were all drinking together in one of the nuns' rooms that I really started to get on board with their storyline. Dave Franco's storyline, I was on board from the second it started, and once they started overlapping, that's when the story gets really fun and crazy. I just wish it had gone further. The soundtrack is also really good. I don't know who made the soundtrack. I know very little about the production of this movie. I'm gonna look it up just so I sound more educated. Dan Romer made the music. I don't know what else he's done. Let's find out. Ooh, did he- he did Beasts of the Southern Wild. I love the soundtrack for Beasts of the Southern Wild. Good composer. Jeff Baina directed this movie. I don't really know anything he's done. This may be like one of his earlier projects, but he does a good job directing it as well. Nothing really super interesting about the way it's shot but I did feel like he brought the time period alive. 
So that was good. Overall, The Little Hours is a fine movie. I guess it sets out what it accomplishes to do. It has a variety of interesting characters, but it's kind of difficult to get on board with some of them. Dave Franco is great. Kate Minucci is great. But yeah, it just doesn't get crazy enough. It doesn't really have much of a message. It's fine, but I really expected more from it. So I'm going to give The Little Hours a 5 out of 10. So what did you think of The Little Hours? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Please let me know in the comments because I really want to know what you think and I really want to talk about it because this is a very low budget indie movie. This type of movie is the reason I make these reviews so I can talk about these movies with people that have actually seen them. Please let me know in the comments and tell me what you think of the review. Bye guys!